Hey everyone, I'm Erica from the blog Buttered Side Up, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cafe mocha at home without a machine. A cafe mocha, sometimes called a mochaccino or a mocha latte, is a cross between a hot chocolate and a latte or a cappuccino. Okay, let's get to it and I'll show you how to make one for yourself. Now, my two favorite ways to make espresso strength coffee without owning an actual espresso machine are with an AeroPress and a French press. I'll quickly go over how to make approximately espresso strength coffee with both of these. For the AeroPress, place a dampened paper filter into the basket of the AeroPress and screw that onto the AeroPress. Place two and a half tablespoons of finely ground coffee into the chamber of the AeroPress. So that's one, two and a half. Pour one and a quarter ounces of 175 degree Fahrenheit water over the coffee grounds in the AeroPress, and that's 79 degrees Celsius. Stir with the provided stir stick, and then plunge the AeroPress down. Okay, now for the French press. Add two tablespoons of finely ground coffee to the canister of the French press. Pour two ounces of 190 degree Fahrenheit or 87 degrees Celsius water over the coffee grounds in the canister of the French press. Stir the coffee grounds and then put the lid on the French press, but don't plunge it down just yet. Now you're gonna let it sit for four minutes to let the coffee steep. Okay, so now that the coffee has brewed for four minutes, I'm going to plunge down the French press, and then I'm going to pour out the coffee. Okay, now that your coffee is brewed, put two to three teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder into an eight ounce mug. Now, like I said, I like the chocolate flavor to have more of a punch, so I do three teaspoons, but if you like to have a more mellow chocolate flavor, you can use the two teaspoons instead. Now add two to four teaspoons of maple syrup to your mug. Of course, you could use honey or sugar instead of maple syrup, but I highly recommend using a liquid sweetener in this recipe. I prefer my coffee drinks less sweet, but feel free to adjust the sweetness level to your preferences. Okay, so I'm going to add two teaspoons of pure maple syrup to the mug. And then I also like to add just an eighth of a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'm just going to add an eighth of a teaspoon and then whisk this together to form a smooth paste. This can take a little bit of time to mix together. But as you can see, we have a nice smooth paste now. Okay, so now that you have a nice smooth paste of cocoa powder and maple syrup, you're going to gradually pour in the espresso. Pour in a little bit and then whisk it up to get it smooth again. Gradually add a little more. And so there you see we have an espresso and chocolate mixture. Okay, so now that we have the base of our drink ready, it's time to froth the milk. You can use either whole milk or half and half if you prefer a richer drink. Heat your milk to 155 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 degrees Celsius. Now, I have a video all about eight ways that you can froth milk without a machine, so make sure to check that out, and I'll have that linked in the iCards. Today, I'll just be demonstrating frothing the milk with a hand pump milk frother. This can also be done the same way using a French press. Okay, so I've warmed my milk, and now I'll just pour that into the hand pump milk frother. Pump it up and down for about six to eight seconds. 
let it sit for a minute before pouring. This helps the foam to develop. Now, of course, if you don't care about latte art, you can just go ahead and pour the milk from this pitcher. But if you want a better chance of getting latte art, I highly recommend pouring it into an actual frothing pitcher first. It just has the proper shaped spout for you to actually get latte art. Okay, so I'm going to pour the frothed milk into this pitcher. And then I'm going to pour a little bit of the milk into the mug first and then whisk it up just to help keep everything mixed together well. And then you can just pour the rest on top. Now if you like, you can actually sprinkle some cocoa powder on top of the espresso before pouring in your milk, and this can also help you to create latte art. You can totally stop here and it's going to be a delicious drink. But like I mentioned earlier, you can add a dollop of whipped cream as well. Now I think that it's really convenient to use one of these handheld stick frothers. You can whip up just a single serving of whipped cream to go on top of your mocha. You can also add a splash of maple syrup and vanilla for extra flavor. So just add about a tablespoon of heavy cream to a small glass and then just whip it with the handheld frother. And then you can just add that on top of your mocha. And a dusting of either cocoa powder or shaved chocolate on top looks gorgeous. So there you have it, a delicious homemade cafe mocha. If you enjoyed this video, Please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more food and cooking videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Dang it. I believe that is all. I just hope that it's okay.